Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, uh, a super awesome free reverb. Hi, if it's your first time here, my name is Tim. I'm a recording and mix engineer, and I just want to make things easier for you. Today, we're going to be talking about this plugin called Magic 7, and it's based off the reverb unit, the Bracasti M7. And the crazy thing is, it's free. You definitely want to jump over and grab this plugin. But in the meantime, let's talk about it. Let's dive into the DIW. Okay, so here it is. This is the Magic 7. This is from Wave Alchemy. And this is not sponsored or anything like this. A uh, friend of mine, Will, he actually told me about this plugin. I downloaded it and we were talking the other day and we're both just raving about how good this plugin sounds. It's every preset from a Brocasti M7. Now on the hardware unit, there are parameters that you can change that you cannot do within this plugin, but even with those minor limitations, this thing sounds awesome. Like we do in these kinds of videos, if you wanna to jump to the audio examples, you can use the chapters down below. Right now, we're gonna do a very quick overview of the controls. So looking from left to right at the Magic 7, you have your input and output dials so you can adjust the input or output levels coming into or out of the unit. And in between, there are LED level meters in here, they'll, they'll light up. The one on the left is for the input, the one on the right is for the output. So you can see if your ins and outs are where they need to be. Then in the middle section, obviously up on top, we have a preset browser. Uh, we also have the die, which is really fun because this is a randomizer. It just goes through the presets and adjusts the controls underneath as well, as well as some of the controls on the right-hand side. So the die is really cool. And if you like whatever you randomize, right next to it is the save button. Boom, you have a new preset. Speaking of presets, let's talk about just the available ones, not in this preset browser, but the different styles of reverb that are built into here. Mind you, this is modeled after the Bricasti M7. There are over 200 different reverbs inside this one free plugin. If you go along the top is the flavor or the style of reverb, whether it be ambience, chambers, halls, non-linears, plates, rooms, and spaces, 11 different categories. And then within each one, multiple, multiple time differences and reverb sounds underneath each one. So these are all chambers because that's our main subject here, but let's just switch over to non-lin. And non-lin is definitely interesting because it just shows you a through O, they're all set to half a second, but they all sound different. Moving on, because we'll get into how these things sound in a little bit, uh, underneath we have pre-delay, and this little uh, music note here allows you to lock it to the tempo of your session, which is super awesome, so you can just dial it into any beat parameter. You want a pre-delay of a quarter note, you can absolutely do that. That's by hitting the little music note next to pre-delay. Otherwise, it's milliseconds, and you can adjust this all the way up to 200. Next to that, you have low and air, and it's just a EQ essentially for your lows and your top end. Uh, if we switch this, that all stays true because ambient, low air, low end, top end. Next to that, we have another control, and right now it's set to ensemble, but I can change this over to flux. And the, this control, whether whichever mode it's in, flux or ensemble, what this does is it helps fill out the mid-range and the density of the reverb. And really what it's doing is a little bit of time-based effects to kind of offset things a little. Flux is way more subtle, and Ensemble is almost to the point where it's getting to be chorusing. So if you need something like that, or you just need to kind of fill your reverbs in a little bit more, mess around with Flux or Ensemble. Then on the right-hand side, kind of standard looking things. We have a mix control because you want to set this wherever you need to. You have it on ascend, put it to 100, and then you can lock it there as you're like cycling through presets and everything. Want to throw it directly on the channel? Just dial this into wherever you need to. It's mix control built right on. Above that, you have smooth and you have duck. Duck is exactly what you think. It's a built-in side chain compressor of the output of the reverb. So when your signal's going in, it's reducing or ducking the volume of the reverb. And then when your input signal is not creating any input anymore, it allows that reverb to open up and not become just ducked under whatever the source is. And smooth helps kind of 
tame the top end if it gets to be too much. So this is really handy because sometimes just whatever our source signal is, is exciting the top end of the reverb, but maybe that's not the sound you need. You need something just slightly darker. Just increase smooth, and it's almost like a really nice sloped shelf or a parametric EQ towards the top with a really gentle curve. And, and that's it. That's all of the controls. There's nothing underneath in the underneath the wrench. You can change how big the plugin looks. Undo, redo in the top right-hand corner. But that's it. To show you what this thing can do, I actually have just this little cowbell section here, and I'm just going to make like a quick loop because cowbells. And now, just to kind of show you guys what it's doing, I'm going to put the mix control back to 50% and lock this in. I'm going to hit play for this cowbell, which is soloed, and every couple seconds, I'm just going to hit the dice and randomize this thing, because I have no idea. It's going to change all of the parameters, and we'll see what we get, but you'll see how versatile this one reverb can be. Lots of different sounds, lots of different lengths, some real short to help fatten things up, some real long to create atmosphere. Very versatile. Now, that's just a cowbell. That's just to give you an idea of what's going on. But inside of this session, I've gone ahead and I've thrown Magic 7 onto a couple key things. First, I'm going to start building things up. Here's my snare drum, and I don't know why this keeps popping up, but that doesn't matter. Here's my snare drum, and I have Magic 7 on, but I'm going to turn it off. This is what Magic 7 is doing for just my snare, and here are the settings. So you heard, it's a well-recorded snare drum, but it's really small, it's kind of tight, and I just needed some extra length and for it to fill things in. So with the M7, snare plate, 1.2, small mix amount. Let's see what we have, 14%, but it still adds lots of character and body. And look at the flux, 50% here too. Let's move on to the drums as a whole. So if we just solo our drums with our new snare reverb, we have this. really cool, which fills out that snare and kind of fills in the gaps inside the drums. Now there is a drum room, but there's nothing saying you can't layer your reverbs. That's absolutely what we're doing here. So on my drum bus, I now have this instance of Magic 7, which is just throwing us into another room. And this is a also a decent mix. I think we're at like 25% here, uh, but it's just to kind of fill things in. So here's our whole drum kit with our fatter snare. Extra width, extra depth. So it's another layer for these drums and it really is starting to fill them out. So let's move on from drums. I went over to my guitar bus. All of my guitars are kind of dry and on their own, this is what they sound like. So nicely distorted rock guitars. But this is like an 80s style song, and the 80s loved their reverb. So I went to just my guitar bus, and I threw this on, Inside Space's Music Forest. Take a listen to what this is doing to the guitars. Also, mix knob in full control over here.
2.6 seconds, really adding things in. I'm gonna play the guitars with this in and then I'll take it out one more time. So listen for the length and the just the depth that we get with this reverb. Take a listen. Here it goes with it on first. So we're adding a lot of depth to our guitars as well. If we bring everything in for just an instrumental mix and we'll turn Magic 7 off on these ones and we'll do it individually, so it'll be a little weird. So just for our instrumentals, here's where we are with Magic 7 on and off. We're gonna start with it off and I'm gonna have to individually turn these on just because I don't have them grouped. That's totally fine. Here it is before and after. Nice, creating depth, creating a little bit of width, and just filling in that front to back. Let's move on a little bit more to your more typical kind of setup. We're in our vocals. So I have my lead vocals and my backgrounds, and I created three buses. That's how I do it. If you wanna use an effects channel, that's totally up to you, or whatever your DAW has. So within this setup, on my lead vocal, I do have two sends to a plate style reverb and a room style reverb all over here where my buses are. And I have them labeled plate and room. And then for my background vocals, I also have a hall setting. So again, here's my hall, halls two, large church, 100% because this is on a send and I can control how much with that send. Then on my room, here's my settings, room two, a fair amount of flux just to kind of fill it in, smoothing, pre-delay, et cetera, all the things. Here is my plate and its settings and the vocals on their own. Let's turn these sends off. Sounds like this. Touch me. It's a compromise. Touch me. Before you realize. Touch me. Never wanted to be the one. Touch me. So vocals with effects baked in and they're going for that like robotic kind of sound. Again, this is not a song that I produced or anything. It's available on the multi-track site if you want to follow along at home. But now we're going to do that same pass and let's just turn our sends on. Here it goes. Touch me, it's a compromise. Touch me, before you realize. Touch me, never wanted to be the one. Touch me, then I will look back. And just like we were talking about earlier in the video, I'm gonna take my background vocals out. I'm layering my reverbs because I have a room and a plate. So I'm gonna turn just the room on, and it sounds like this with our lead vocal. It's a compromise before you realize. And on its own. It's a compromise before you realize. So the room is giving me the sense of being in a room. It's a shorter time. Right now we're looking at plates, but here's room, small room, 0.4 decay time. That's what we're getting. It's a compromise. So now we know that he's within a natural space and he's not just a microphone and a voice going straight into our ears. And we can mess with pre-delay to position him in that room. It's a compromise before you realize. So messing with pre-delay not only puts him somewhere in the room, but it also shows a little bit of the size of the room because if we increase pre-delay, the sound takes longer to get to the wall and then reverb and all that things. Science, that's how it works. We were talking about layering our reverbs. So now let's talk about our plate reverb, which is right here. These are the settings, 1.5. So much longer than our 0.4 with our room. Here it is, first line without the reverb, second line with. It's a compromise before you realize. Much longer. And when we put the two of them in, it sounds like this. Doing the same thing, first line without, second line with. It's a compromise 
before you realize. And just to highlight the hall and its sound with a 4.1 decay time, here we go. Here's just all of our backgrounds because it's on the bus. Touch me, it's a compromise. Touch me, before you realize. That's me. Very nice reverb. Taken off. Touch me, it's a compromise. Touch me. Very dry vocals, very right in front of you vocals. So we throw them in a hall and we give them some space. That's just what I did for this example. Like I said earlier in the video, this is not sponsored. This is a free plugin that I think you should jump on. It's beautiful sounding, tons of different styles in the one plugin. And Wave Alchemy has a bunch of other reverbs available that you can purchase if you find yourself going back to their style and their sounds. Seriously. Don't sleep on Magic 7. Use the link down in the description and go grab this for yourself. It's free. It's amazing. Have fun with it. Happy mixing. See you next time.